I'm just gonna try on these pieces to see what fits over the new body. So I got a couple pair of bottoms. Yeah. So let's see how this is. Now three days post op, and I'm. Uh oh. <laughs> I left. Um, three days. I mean four days early. Um, because my, I left Miami four days early because I really needed to get home so I can get, you know, really good care from my husband and my mom and stuff. And I just was ready to come home and see my little ones. So when I got home, um, I had took my medicine and I ended up taking a shower because like that plane ride was like, hell y'all, it was two and a half hours of me holding up my body weight. Because I have my BBL pillow, but you're not supposed to sit down on your butt. And, like, you have to kind of sit down on the pillow and kind of your bottom has to hang off. But because I was so sore, it was like I could not find the right position without messing up anything. And I didn't want to mess anything up. So I ended up, you know, um, I ended up kind of, like, holding up my body weight, which caused me to swell. And my butt was so tight, my back, everything, it was crazy. And I was in excruciating pain. But when I take the medicine, it makes me like really groggly and just like, uh. So I got a call from my um, post-op coordinator who asked me how I was doing, checked in on me and kind of updated me on everything that I need to be doing. I need to be eating like a lot of fats, healthy fats. Like avocado and different things like that. And, um, you know, stay away from like refined sugars and stuff like that. So, that is pretty much that. I have to schedule me a couple massages this weekend because I need to keep my massages up so I can drain all this fluid that was injected in me in order for the fat to be removed easily. So, um, I have a couple places in mind. I just have to book them. And then, um... They recommend a massage every single day, but, like, I have to, like, give myself time because I got my massage, like, with my doctor um, where I went, and it was excruciating. Like, they literally had to massage and open up the incisions so that the, the it can drain out the fluid. So, it was literally draining out, but it took so much pressure to, like, make it drain. So, you just imagine. I had to take a break. Like, I could not bear it. Um, I have my foam boarding in the back of my butt, and I have in my ab boards that are on my sides and in the front of my stomach. Since I've been wearing my ab boards and I changed my incisions last night after the shower and put on my antibacterial cream and new gauzes, I think that's what it's called. It's like padding that protects wounds. I felt 10 times better, and my inflammation went down when I woke up. So, I'm pretty much feeling so much better. But now I'm having like a spell where I'm nauseous and I just do not feel well. Um, and I believe it's just because it's time for me to eat something. I am still draining. I have to wear like, I'm laying on top of like this blue like padding that's waterproof. And you can still see the drainage coming out um, of my incisions. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much like an update and I'm home now tonight. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take a shower and, um, open up my incisions, clean them out. Re, um, you know, put more of the, uh, padding on and then put my foam boards back on my ab board and my garment. You cannot be out of your garment for no more than an hour. Um, I think you could take it off at least an hour a day if you want to but I do not take it off the only time I'm going to take it off is when I'm in the shower because it helps with compressing and just draining like helping you drain out so I don't have a desire to be out of my garden longer than I need to I can't even understand how some girls like really be out of their garments like taking pictures and everything like super quick like a day later I'm like what how and so that's basically like an update. The swelling has went down. I'm starting to see like my shape. Um, and it's like beautiful. Like I'm like, oh my gosh. Like even just a few days after surgery, I'm impressed with, 
you know, what's going on with my shape. And I'll show you guys that later on today. Um, but I'm impressed because I have foam boards, a domino board, and all kind of stuff. Um, and my, my shape still looks really, really small. My waist looks crazy small. So, um, yeah. So I just have to eat more um, foods a day. She said eat like four times a day if you can. Just eat healthy fats. So that's what I need to like up is my eating. And maybe that's why I'm not feeling 100% because I'm only eating like two pieces of turkey bacon and one pancake because I just could not stomach any other food. Um, so that's just that. That's kind of like an update. Um, I am, my surgery is on Monday and today's Thursday. So I am four days post-op actually. So Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, three days, right? I'm three days post-op. Yep, I'm three days post-op. So I'm not counting Monday as actual surgery day. Uh, it is officially three, four days since my surgery. And I can say I'm doing pretty good. Like, I've been walking around. Like, you need to get up and walk sometime to keep your circulation flowing. And you need to have compression socks on 24-7. There's no reason why you should not be in your compression socks because that helps with the circulation and preventing blood clotting and I think it's fibrosis so it's not a game like you need to take care of yourself after surgery and I learned that because I would have stayed in Miami four more extra days but I realized that I would have better care if I came back home and I was not chancing like my life you know what I'm saying the health of my body just hanging out in Miami four extra days um you know, it just was stressful for me. So I just highly recommend when you get it done, you need to have a good support system. Somebody that is going to be or a group of family that's going to be there by your side. It's going to help you throughout the process. It's going to make sure you're good and that you're um, they're watching and making sure that you're not like slipping into a bad state. Because it's really not, like the surgery is a beautiful thing if you want it. But it's really not a game. It's very life-threatening. Um, especially if you don't take care of yourself. You can get infections and all types of stuff. So you have to follow instructions. And be very careful with sterilized. Like, you know, using the proper stuff to keep yourself sterilized. And, and that's what I'm doing. And I just feel better being home. Because I can take care of myself. I can, you know, I have my husband, my mom and stuff. That's watching me and making sure that I'm not, like, slipping down, you know. Um, and, you know, not to scare anybody, but that is the seriousness of the surgery. To get, like, your fat sucked out. So you have incisions all over your body. And then be it injected into your butt and your hips. Like, it's not a joke. Um, and you have to listen to your body and what your body is telling you. You know what I'm saying? Like, if your body telling you... That you need to lay down more. You need to do that. If your body's telling you you need to drink more water, you need to do that. And I do need to drink more water. As you can see, my lips are super dry. Because I was literally asleep for like three hours and didn't even realize it. Um, after I take the medicine, I just be knocked. So definitely listen to your body. Um, you do see results instantly. But you will see your true body. Everything will go and be snatched like it needs to be. If you follow instructions within six months. Um, I had three babies and things like that. So I had, I had stretch marks on my stomach and my stomach is shrinking, you know, every day, just wearing my faha. Um, and that's like pretty much like an update on me. And, um, there's the little, there's the booty is poking. Now, uh oh, y'all can't see, but this right here is an ab board. So it looks crazy. That's not my butt. But there's there's my butt. And then I have my compression socks on. So you need to stay compressed all the time. That keeps the blood flowing and circulating like it should. Okay. But now this is literally some of my fluid that's draining. I'm I'm like bleeding, but it's more like fluid. It's not like a dark, heavy blood. I know this is nasty, but I literally have to lay on this because there's drainage that's happening, you know, all throughout my faha. So 
that is like pretty much the seriousness of it all <laughs> so i'm about to i'm working on editing i gotta begin editing the vlog so you guys can see it when i am ready and then um i just want to start editing so i can have part of it done so it's not a lot of work because i had just got back and i kind of want to you know get the content together and eventually like put it out for you guys to see and it will be on my beauty channel it's edge y'all and that's where you kind of can doc watch me document this process on there but yeah so that is just pretty much like an update i'll be back on um just letting you guys know then hopefully i can record my next massage my first massage with my doctor like you know at the place where i got my surgery done I, I didn't even ask to record like it was literally like not that type of environment but for the next one I want to record so you guys can see what that massage looks like but it's highly intense I'm trying to it's highly intense but this is pretty much like my shape now um I have my foam in ab boards and then I have an ab board in the back so that's why my butt is kind of like poking but this is pretty much, you know, the process thus far. And I'm I'm happy with it because it ain't gonna do nothing but like slim and chisel over time. So I'm happy about that. And yeah, so that's that. I am I'm happy with my results because just two days after surgery, I know what I look like before they took pictures. I have video footage of me before and I'm just like wow like I'm already impressed and I have like stuff inside of this faja <laughs> that is affecting like the overall appearance and I still look snatched so um yeah so that is that um I'll be checking in in a little bit Hey guys, uh, this is like post-surgery. You guys know I went to Miami and I recently got a surgery done. And so I'm really need to hydrate myself and you know keep myself hydrated, but also like give myself good things that's gonna help me with my recovery. And so I've been um, excited to try out the new Zest, new, I think it's new Zest, new Zest. Um, and it's a clean, lean protein. And basically it's all plant-based. This is the vanilla flavor. I also have the chocolate rich chocolate right here flavor and the kids have their own strawberry and chocolate so we're going to be doing smoothies today really quick and they also gave me a blender bottle and it comes with like the little whisk which i'm just going to blend in a regular blender this time but you just put it in your powder and you just shake it and it basically blends it for what you need so i'm definitely going to go in with the 20 grams of protein Right here is dairy free, gluten free, vegan, and um, it's lectin free, soy free. So this is really, really good. You can shake it, blend it, or bake it. So that's the good thing about it. You don't have to have it in like a smoothie form. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack this open, you guys, and I'm going to do a scoop of this into my meal. I mean, into my drink. And this right here is gonna help me like restore. And I might do two of these before the night is over because I had a hard time like eating foods. So this is good. And also, oh. Um, it also is good for the kids because they get like the protein that they need, um, that they may like struggle with when it comes to like their meals. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And all right now I have on my Faha for my recovery. I will have my code below for you guys. So definitely click um, the code below. So I'm gonna open it up and it smells so good. Now, I've seen this brand many a times, and so when they reached out to me, I was really excited to partner with them um, for this. So, so, the vanilla flavor, and I'm just going to do it. Oh, it smells really, really good. Uh-oh. It smells so good. So, go ahead and do a scoop. Have, um, my classic fruit melody, which is mango chunks, um, pineapple, strawberries, peaches, slices. So I just did a scoop. That's all I need. And I will get my, how many grams of protein? 20 grams per serve. And here is, I'm going to put a little bit of this juice. 
but this is the classic fruit medley medley from private selections and it's high in vitamin c great for smoothies so that's what's in there i did a scoop i think i made a little bit more because i want a good amount of smoothie then i put a little bit of this in some water and i'll blend it in I'll tell you guys how it tastes Okay, you guys so here it is i have blended it up here it is so bomb super super good so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and close it up and then begin drinking highly recommend i really like the taste of it like i said this protein powder is really really good it's all natural it's clean it's lean and it's really really good so it has no artificial flavors preservatives or fillers and nothing artificial about it and it's safe for children and all kinds of things so right here's the ingredients Pea protein, natural vanilla flavor. <laughs> so the link will be below. Use my code so you guys can save money. Be sure to purchase using my code. Here's all of the essential amino acid profile. Let me know what's all in it. Look and feel and perform at your best. It helps with your di digestion and everything. So highly recommend you guys know. I'm always putting y'all on to the best, latest and greatest stuff. So definitely check them out new zest like i said the kids have their own protein so i'm going to make sure that they have that they're going to get that at least once a day or um at least a couple times a week so that we are you know taking care of our bodies and doing right um like i said i knew about this company but it's really you know i was really excited when i had got the opportunity to partner with them so definitely use my code you guys it will be in the description box below and all of that good stuff guys i am I did a really good mix. This is a good mix. And there's Raleigh's right there. So bomb. Definitely click the link below. Use my code. It's Angie15 for money off. I'm about to finish this. It's going to help me with my recovery, y'all. It's definitely going to help. What's up, you guys? So, um, this is, I don't know what day. I'm two weeks post-op and I'm headed to my second massage. I, I, when I got back home, I was supposed to have a couple massages when I was in Miami, but when I got back home, I can know I had literally was calling around and I got back during what time? Um, oh, it was Memorial weekend. So nobody was answering the phone when I got back in town. So I had to wait until the next week, which is this week to come and get a massage so I'm gonna be going to get a massage I have to first get some money out and then once I get the money out I just have to go there get the massage I don't know how long it's gonna be but I already know it's gonna be um at least in a half hour so I'm a little nervous about my massage because my first massage I got it the day after the next day after surgery and it was excruciating I hated it but afterwards I felt stronger so I don't know so I'll have to do that and then I don't know what else we're gonna get into. I am hungry, but oh bless you. Thank you. We got the whole squad with us. I got all the kids. Hubby. <laughs> say what's up. This is your first time showing up on my beauty channel. So say what's up. Oh, what's up, up family? <laughs> we on the way for our massage and uh just gonna be hanging out for a little bit. It's a beautiful day today. It's about it 82 degrees with a breeze. Sunshine is beautiful. Yes, I'm so excited. Um, I was gonna say that I'm sitting on my butt pillow and it's the most uncomfortable feeling ever because half of your butt hangs off the end. And then when you're in a car, it feels even weirder. So I just like, uh, I gotta adjust myself constantly. Ooh. So. And 
I look so tall in the car. Uh, I look so tall in the car. My boy feels so funny. Girl, you are in my mouth. But yeah, so I'm gonna check in when I get there. I'm I'm, I'm gonna record the whole thing. So hopefully she cool with me recording um the massage. But like I'm gonna record certain parts because I can't really record because of like obviously nude. I cannot be nude, obviously. So I'm gonna record like this. I'm y'all know how I do. I'm gonna get it like certain angles and stuff like that where y'all can see her the work. I am gonna reveal like my skin. Um, I do have, I love my body, first of all. I have, it will be something wrong with the ATO. It will be, it's okay, I'm gonna just have to take it. Um, I don't need this butt pillow, but I'm standing up. Okay, my money. Okay. Okay. Alright. I'll be back. Okay, you guys. I am currently in my massage. I am about to go ahead and get this lymphatic massage. I'm going to put the camera in a place where um, you guys can see everything, but like I'm going to be like revealed, so I'm not going to show too much, but you guys will see. Um, so let me go ahead and get ready and get down into, you know, <laughs> my birthday suit and i am going to go ahead and get my massage done and i'll tell you guys where i'm getting my massage if you're local um specialize in providing massages so i'm nervous but excited so stay tuned what's up you guys this is after my massage appointment Oh, my wig is looking tag. This is after my massage appointment. And I feel really good. I was able to sit on my butt pillow. When I went there, I wasn't. It was very uncomfortable. So now we're at McAllister's. And um, I'm about to get you something to eat. I'm going to end up getting a spicy turkey uh, melt, which is like avocado and stuff like that. It's really good. And then um, let me get in the car. Ooh. Okay. Let me zoom out. Mila, what? Girl, that's out. Is it in here or outside? That's outside. Mm -hmm. Hey, how y'all doing? What y'all was doing? Um, sitting down. Butt pillow. <laughs> Which I do not know how to sit on this butt pillow like at all, for real. Like it's so hard. Um, my massage went well. I was gonna film my massage, but it was so dark. I'm like, can y'all even see? But it was good, like, and I have an, another appointment next week scheduled. So I'm gonna go go to that, and yeah, it felt good. And then I had like sensation in my fingertips, well, like my pinky, since I'm two weeks post op. So I'm two weeks post op, and I had like sensation in my finger in this fingertip. That was just not it. And she ended up doing, um, you know, working it out. And now my finger feels better. This hand was not as bad, but now it's the worst hand because she kind of like did a few, like, she did some things and it kind of like got my nerves moving. And it's normal. I have a ab roller coming in the mail. All of that, hold on. We in here deep. Yes. Just gonna try on these pieces to see what fits over the new body. So I got a couple pair of bottoms. Yeah. So let's see how that goes.